good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful... Let me just lower this a little bit. A wonderful uh, evening. It's been a week since we last played some Fire Emblem. And the run's been going pretty well so far. We had a pretty solid Chapter 11, which I was feeling pretty good about, you know? Like, I struggled so much with Chapters 9 and 10. It felt good to, like, get a solid W, a first turn clear. I hope everyone's nights are going pretty well. I hope the stream also goes well. We gotta do our battle preps first. So we got a couple of items here. I don't think we took use of everything. Yeah, we have a secret book and a goddess icon. So we're gonna take the time to use that. We look here. We need to put these secret books on someone who can't hit the broadside of a goddamn barn. So, oh, look at those stats. These are the pre-promotes we're looking for. We got units like Tana and Ford before. Nah, we're getting characters like Sala and Garrick and Innis. We're getting usable units now. This is so much... It just feels so much better when the game actually gives us good units. And Sala has C staves and B, B light magic. Oh, uh, that's a lot. We can, we can make a lot of use with that. We get a secondary healer. Uh, let's see, let's see. The secret book we should put on, let's see. I feel like it should go on someone like Dalzla. You know, axes are pretty inaccurate. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea to give him the secret book. Because, what, he's gonna be hitting things with axes? I feel like that extra two skill will go a long way. Let's also set our units up. We'll take out Qualm and put in Dalzla. Let's see, who are we missing? Lair Rachel we don't really need. We don't need any of these guys. Ooh, wait, Arter has a Guiding Ring. But there's no one that I really need to bench for him. He's kind of like just an extra unit who's there. I could bench Joshua, but like he's still a good combat unit. But the ability to get Arter promoted is pretty nice. So I think we're gonna dump Joshua now. Just for this chapter, because Joshua's already like way ahead. Joshua could promote like 12 times if he wanted to. So then let's send over some staffs here. Another men's staff. Let's see what else. It's a 20 use hand axe on Ford. That goes to Kyle. And then. We have a Lance Reaver that could go to. Who needs to beat Lance? Seth will need to beat Lance's, but I feel like that's a little overkill. Someone who could, like, make use of, like, the sword. Uh. E Swords. So that's not that great. I guess we give it to Garrick, because he's, uh. He has no weapon triangle advantage. He can only use swords. So we'll do that. We'll also give him the Iron Sword. We'll dump the Chest Key. And we'll take a Vulnery. Let's see. That should probably be pretty fine. Let's see. We have two houses over here. I think one of those has Ewan in it. And I don't think Ewan's going to be useful for anything. But this chapter already is looking very, very, very unpleasant. I think the strat from the start is going to be to Barrier. Do I have Barrier? Items. I don't think we have a barrier or a pure water, so that's gonna be a kind of a pain in the ass. Ooh, that's not great. Seven res. Seven res. Why does Tana just as strong, if not better than Vanessa? I don't understand. Uh, not having a barrier staff sucks, and not having any pure water sucks. Can we buy them? I don't think we can buy pures. Yeah, that's that's a ball buster if I ever seen one. You might have to do some hit and run tactics. But we have the short spear axe reaver. Let's get her some better lances as well. We could give her a steel lance and then an iron lance. I most certainly have an iron lance lying around. And then Tana. I think she has everything she needs. They can pass around that one elixir. And uh, the goddess icon should probably go on someone who's gonna. Who has the worst luck and is also promoted? Eight luck. I, I guess we'll give it to Dazla. The ability to reduce a character getting crits, even by just a little percent, I think is worth investing in. <laughs> okay, let's save. I think this should be fine. Oh god, he's over there! Well then, we'll just send Vanessa up here. How does she do over here? 33%. We're kind of gonna... We're just gonna ignore those guys for now. We're gonna send our flyers upwards. I, I feel like even with 7 res, they should at least be able to survive somewhat well. Let's see. 
short spear we double. We only take 8 damage, but these hit rates are kind of not reliable. 76, 71. Uh, I guess we can do this. I guess this is fine. Yeah, we'll just use the javelins here. We have some elixirs to pop as well, just in case. And then Tana? We'll just follow suit. Item, pick up the javelin. And then, I guess we try to just, we take this one a little slowly. I don't think we need to rush this one aside from just clearing all those eyes, because the less eyes we have to deal with for our foot units, the better, I, w I would say. I don't think this is going to be worth it at all. <laughs> not, not at all. Nine damage times two. I can do it. I believe in myself too. I think I can do it. I definitely believe in myself. Thank you for the words of encouragement and good to see you here, Mexican Pan. I hope you're doing well. We'll take and drop Tethys over here just to get the dancer a little bit further ahead. And we just gotta get move everyone forward. This is like an obnoxious kind of choke point. Like we can't really do much here. We just have to slowly funnel everyone through to this first hole. And I think each of the later parts of the mountains, yeah, it opens up a little bit more. We get we get two squares of distance instead of one. How generous of them to make those choke points a little bit bigger. Oh no! Shut the hell up, Gargoyle. I'm gonna shoot you down. Ouch. Yeah, like, Vanessa's already at half HP. It's not the greatest situation to be in. I mean... It could be worse. It could be same turn reinforcements. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I feel like work recently has just been really tiring. But like, I don't know, every time I just hit like the start stream button, I just feel like I get a lot of energy back. I don't know, I just, I think it's just because streaming is just fun. Like even when I do like stream lessons, like when I did last week, I was like really tired, but like, I like got on, <laughs> I got on the stream, I hit go live and everything just felt fine. Everything was gonna be okay. Now the question of whether or not everything's gonna be as okay is, can I put Erica far enough back that she doesn't get mauled by like two dogs and a gargoyle? <laughs> that looks a little scary. But I think if we position just correctly. Ooh, Salah one-shots everything. Oh, you love it. You gotta love it when they give you characters that can one-shot things. And then Garrick. No double, but he doesn't take any damage here. These are some nice numbers. And then Ardor. Ardor can do this. Ha! But he gets a lot of experience for this. Now we gotta worry about this guy, who is not particularly threatening. As long as we just stay out of his range, it should be fine. Um. Let's do this. Rescue. We'll do this. And then let's see the ranges. So we will see. Uh Molder, can you can you be the boulder that we need? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it does, it does. Just being able to like just chill with people, you know? And even people are just lurking, just like knowing that someone's hanging around, it's always nice, you know? Because, like, teaching also just feels like you're entertain- you have to entertain people. Oh, wow. That's- that feels bad. Because, like, if you're not entertaining the students, like, if you're not engaging the students and making them enjoy the lesson, it just- they're not gonna learn anything. But then, in the same vein, it's just like, doing that and making sure they learn is just so stressful. <laughs> and I guess because here it's not a job, it's just I do this for fun. It's not something that I have to worry about as much. Alright, what do I do here? That guy I'm pretty sure one-shots Tana, or Tana dies in retaliation the next turn if I mess up. Let's do this though. Item Javelin. Let me just make sure. But yeah, it's just knowing that people are enjoying what you're doing feels really good. Whether that be, like, actually teaching as a job... Wait, this might have been a poor idea. This might have been the worst idea, actually. Oh, and he comes with an energy ring, so it's, like, really bad if he dies. There was no reason for me to rush this. I guess I can better plan this village, though. Oh! Barrier is there, too. Let's watch Iwan die. If he lives through this turn, I will... 
I don't know what I'll, I'll, what to say. I like completely forgot that that was the village that Ewan was in. <laughs> but you know, I would rather a early reset than getting halfway through the chapter reset. <laughs> An early reset due to just the most the most absurd of negligence. Wait, is Seth dead? I might have to reset just because of Seth. <laughs> That's weird. That would be the first Seth death of this of this run. I I just need to see. Did I miss position so badly that I did? I did position so badly that Seth just bit the dust. Okay. So Seth, this is the first chapter that we get that Seth can't super tank everything, and that's fine. Good thing I saved those preps. So formation. It's like tricky because there's a lot of reinforcements that come in this bottom left corner. Let's do this first. Let's put the flyers up top so I don't have to waste time dancing them. And I'm thinking maybe I can just super push forward, pull these guys over, and just be ahead of the dukes. I don't know if it's imperative that I try to like LTC this though, try to just go as fast as possible. It might be a little excessive. I also think Innis needs items. Yeah, he needs a bow. Naomi, give me your bow. Oh, <laughs> we don't have any bows. Except for the one that Garrick has, so I guess we have to actually buy though. Buy that? Let's go buy an iron bow. You know, that silver bow's really good, but we want to preserve that for as long as possible. Those five uses. We need to make sure that those go to things that need to get hit with silver bows. Because right now, Innis is doing big boy damage on enemies. Alright, let's try that again. This time, with less carelessness. Oh man, that guy rolled more speed. <laughs> seeing seeing enemies suddenly not get doubled just because, you know, the RNG gave them higher speed for no reason. It's a little scary. Because enemies have a little bit of a variable in their stats. So, like, enemies can have more strength, skill, or speed because it's on hard mode. They get, like, I think it's, like, five bonus level ups. So it just randomly chooses what stats get increased, I believe. I think that's, like, interesting, but also it... It sucks if you're trying to, like, plan things out. It sucks if you're trying to be, like, trying to have actual, like, good foresight. But let's do this. Uh, Iron Lance should be fine. And then... The thing is, this guy over here can only reach it that far. Let's see. Um, we have the Lance Reaper on him. This works. This is gonna work. We put Seth over here. You love the model? I'm glad you love the model. Welcome, welcome, Sneps246. I'm glad you like the model. I'm also fond of how I look myself. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like that kind of gap moe, you know? Like, you design yourself to look smart, and then you open your mouth and everyone realizes, Oh no, wait, he's actually dumb as hell. <laughs> But it's okay, we're all in the process of learning. We're all in the process of... Currently you're doing grinding in Fates? Ooh. I was thinking about, like, going through Fates again. I, it's been so long since I played Fates. I, um... I've only ever done one playthrough in each of the routes. I've done one... I did a Hard Conquest, a Lunatic Birthright, and a Lunatic Rev Run. And honestly... I feel like... I feel like it would be fun to go through it again. I I, <laughs> I would not be the first or last person to say that Fate's story was incredibly mid, but I think there were some fun gameplay concepts that I think just being a better Fire Emblem player than I was back when I first played those games, I think it would be interesting to like go back and try it out again. Can I? No. <laughs> I don't think Dalzel's gonna take too much damage from that spider, but I think that it was worth a shot to try to hit, try to get one hit there and maybe bang for a crit. Uh, 40% hit rate, 20% crit. <laughs> God, I keep on getting hit by so many 38%, and that 40% just doesn't hit. The thing is, the story might have battered over. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ooh, nice crit. But yeah, there's so many, like... As much as, like, at the moment, like, my mind thinks, Oh my God, I hate this fucking map. I hate this map. This map stresses me out. Like, they're so memorable. And it's not like they were bad, like memorable because they were like bad design but like they do so many cool things i think like chapter 10 of conquest is such a good example of that i think that map is like just really has really solid design 
a cool objective that doesn't feel like super harsh and like a really good side objective. There are other maps that I feel like if I took the time to learn them better, they would have been really cool, like um, Mr. Fuga's Wild Ride. I, I hate that map so much. I absolutely just could not wrap my head around the uh, the wind mechanic. But I feel like if I took the time to uh, actually like play it properly, I probably would have appreciated it a lot more. Or like the Caltrops map. They like they tried so many like different things, and I feel like I feel like I didn't appreciate them back at the time. But like I feel like I could go back now and really get a better feel for how to approach them. I don't know if I would stream it though because me streaming it would just be me like looking like Patrick from that one episode of SpongeBob where he's just sitting with like a piece of wood nail to his head, like sparks flying out of his head. That's how I would feel trying to like relearn or trying to figure out how to go through these stages. Ooh, this is not the greatest hit rates. How do I get through this? Uh, let's see. This guy has a javelin, but that spot next to Erica is safe. Oh wait, Garrick. Garrick, we can iron bow to for 84% hit rate. Are you? <laughs> I fucking hate this game. <laughs> let's trade the Lance Reaver on to you. I'm so mad. The Oslo should be able to live. How do you think you do without Seth? So, the thing is, I was trying to push Seth super far so he would solo the right side of the map. The last time I did this, I put Seth here and then he he got three hit KO'd by the gargoyles on the left. <laughs> I don't know how he died. I guess he just stopped dodging. I think I might have had a sword on him. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. This should be a little better though. Iron Axe, 59% hit rate, 69% hit rate. There we go. I feel like these guys will survive better. And then... Seth? Seth is taking quite a bit of damage. Seth is getting doubled by the dogs. And some of the characters from Fates are really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of characters that I really thought were really cool in Fates that... I also, like... I don't know, I feel like a lot of them get overlooked because of the Royals, but like... A lot of the character design in Fates was really cool. And also, welcome, uh, Magellite. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> but yeah, um... What is it? Like... You have characters like the Royals, like, they're, they're obviously the characters that everyone's gonna remember because, you know, they're pretty much, like, pseudo-lords in and of themselves. Especially, like, the male, the male Royals, like, Takumi, Leo, and all of them, because they have, like, the special weapons. And then you have, like... Who is it? You have... Camilla, who's just insane. She joins Chapter 10 in Conquest and just absolutely carries your baby ass. <laughs> Hinoka has, like, the Guard Naginata, which isn't a, a, a special weapon, but, like, it's pretty solid, too. I actually made a personal mission in this run where you would try to get their hair colors, particularly on the Royal Children. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting the hair colors right, too. I remember the whole thing about, like, canon hair colors. It was like, you know, they, they would release, like, the promotional art, and they'd be like, yeah, that's what they're supposed to look like. And I'm, like, pretty sure some of, like, the canon hairstyles or the canon hair colors is, like, not even colors that you can actually get. Or at least in Awakening, I'm pretty sure, like, not all the canon hair colors are hair color combinations that you could actually achieve. Which I think is weird. But I guess they did that because, like, they gave them, like, a quote-unquote canon hairstyle, but then still made it so that... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> made it so that every character, um... So that since, since there was no, like, way to get the canon hair color, they would be able to just pick whoever they want without feeling pressure to get, like, the exact right colors. Because there's definitely a lot of people who are a stickler for canon. Ooh, wait! This gargoyle's not doubling Kyle. That's kind of cool. Mo's your favorite trainee. Ooh! He can achieve most. Oh, yeah. As long as you have uh, Corrin with the right hair color, pretty much everything will work out. Um, okay, let's go back here. We'll just bait that guy. We'll pop a Vulnery. And welcome, Zero. It's good to see you as well. I I think my favorite trainee in the series to train up actually is Ewan. I think it's really satisfying to get him to a summoner slash... Yeah, just summoner, actually. But, like, also, training Ewan is an absolute pain in the ass if you're not doing Vulnery grinding. It's, like, so awful. It feels real bad. But, like, a strong Ewan just feels so satisfying to use. Like, all the trainees in FE8 feel really good to use. However, if, you, if you're supposed to go Paracore with Keaton so you could get Hardcore in with Keaton, you get more units. 
What is Paracor? Or if you're supposed to end with Keaton so you can get more wolf units. You could get more wolf units? I thought Keaton was the only wolf unit you could get in a uh, conquest. And why would you need a lady with green hair? Uh, I thought Valoria had gray hair. Man, canon hair colors are confusing. <laughs> I actually, when I played through Conquest, I think the only child unit I got was Kana and, uh, who is it? Sophie. I think those were the only two child units that I got, and I think I might have gotten one or two other ones. But I, like, I ignored so many of the kid units in Conquest because I was, like, not getting S supports for some reason. Or, like, not planning around doing them. Or I think maybe the maps kicked my ass? I forget. I think I remember specifically, like, Siegbert's map being really hard for some reason. Ugh. Let's just dance here. And Akeen's Otter is a beast unit, but then, like, those are the only two that you get, right? And unless you're going, like, triple generation where you have, uh, the main character mate with with the daughter. Oh, yeah, Khan and Shigure can be wolfskin. Oh, yeah, 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 kind of like with, um, who is it? How Lucina can go... You go Maniki if you marry, uh, what's her name? Tiki. I also love those kind of, like, little things, like, just getting, like, the most absurd classes for some of the kids, like, Lucina Dragon conceptually sounds so goddamn cool, but really doesn't have much standing in any sort of canon. It's, like, it's kind of, like, just a weird class that you can do. But man, if it isn't cool to see Lucina turn into a dragon. I just love, like, as much as I'm not that big of a fan of, uh, what is it, like, the whole, like, dating some child-rearing elements of Fire Emblem. I do think some of the stuff they do with it is really cool. We'll put Vanessa over there, and then... We took out all the gargoyles here. We're safe. I don't know if there's going to be more backwards reinforcements. If there are, I will cry. Oh, I could have stabbed. I could have gotten some extra staff rank there. Unfortunate. And we just got to keep Erica safe. Oh, that's what it was. Right, right, right. Morgan can be a mannequin. That's what it was. Because I remember my older brother, when he was doing Awakening, was doing, like, a lot of, like, weird min-max stuff. And I remember he specifically... He married Tiki for a specific reason, but yeah, I, it was to get Morgan into a mannequin. Which, again, is still really cool that Morgan can turn into a mannequin. Ha! Alright. Vanessa should be able to kill the other eye as well. I think it's in range. Yeah, this looks a little scary. Uh, uh... Oh, both my archers are out of range of these guys. Wait, one, two. Okay, that guy we could kill. What? This is kind of a weird position. Because then Dolzla can just straight up just bonk this guy. <laughs> but then that's not optimal, because Innis could have taken that guy out with a longbow. But, you know, I guess it is what it is. We just kill what we can kill. Uh, We'll push Garrick ahead with Pethys. And Seth is pretty much full HP. So, ooh, wait. And Fates, you can get also Beast Kana and Beast Shigure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably get, like, yeah, Wolfskin or uh, Kitsune. Yeah, I think that was mentioned, yeah. If you marry Korin with Keaton or Kaden, then Kana. If you marry Korin with Keaton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Kana can be paired with. And Kana. Oh, can be paired with. And then Mizuru with Kaden. So Shigure was a Kitsune and Kana was... Yeah, that... <laughs> I was like... All this like genetic stuff and breeding stuff. Having Beast Father and using... Oh, I see. So that you could do Shigure and Kana, I guess. And then you can Heart Seal so they can be each other's classes. That is ridiculous. That they could be both Wolfskin and Kitsune. <laughs> it's so convoluted, but I love it. It's not anything that I would ever like... I don't have the brain power... Or, like, the actual desire to, uh, to work that hard to get those classes. I just fucking turn my brain off and just Gale Force. Or I guess in, uh, in, in Fates it was just move the Ryoma. Oh, okay. You can't Heart Seal to be the other one. Okay. I see, I see. I see what you're getting at. Um, let's see. Sala. I'm surprised I'm doubling the Gargoyles, actually. After all, I can only be... Yeah, the blood relation has to be there. I thought that they- I was under the impression that the heart seal would allow you to get the, uh, the other class that you didn't have. So, like, if, uh, Shigure and Kana were a supported, then they could be each other's beast classes as well as their own. Are you serious? Um, okay. We're just gonna put Seth and Garrick here. This is fine. This is fine enough. 
Sala is huge, dude. Sala? His bases are pretty nuts, though, for a level 1 Sage. Imagine if they made him a higher level. Like, if I was doing Scorched Sand, or if I was doing Ephraim Route, and got him on Scorched Sand, I think he's, like, two levels higher. I don't know what his stats would be, but I'm pretty sure they would be even nuttier. I also realized, as I was, like, mulling over this playthrough, like, in the shower or something, I was like, if you do Ephraim Route, Erica gets auto-leveled to 15 and stops having these stupid baby stats. And oh my god, it would be so nice to have one of my force deployed units to not be unusable. <laughs> but it is what it is, and I would rather have a useless force deploy than uh, play pirate ship. <laughs> Playing pirate ship on 0% growth actually just sounds miserable. <laughs> it sounds like quite possibly some of the most painful fire emblem you could ever play. <laughs> Alright, so then here... Um, let's see the tiles here. We can go up to here. Yeah, if I can go up to there, I can absolutely move up there. We're gonna trade. Thank you for being the pack mule, uh, Tana. So if I go right in between here, so one, two, three above here. Ooh, sorry, excuse me. And then we elixir. Would Ephraim be worse if you went Ephraim route? Ephraim would be worse, but what you have to consider is that Ephraim starts with significantly better bases than Erica. So then even though you go Ephraim route, he's just a better character still. So like, you deal with the weaker Ephraim, but you have a level 15 Erica. In this case here, we're gonna get a supercharged Ephraim who's gonna be level 15, and he's gonna absolutely murder things. But like, Ephraim route gives you a solidly usable Ephraim, and then a pretty good Erica. This gives you a solidly usable Ephraim, and you don't get Erica. You have you have a Seize bot. <laughs> it's just so bad because she's like the first unit you get. It makes sense, but the the fact that the option is there that I could have taken to make Erica not boneless. <laughs> she's like quite possibly the most boneless lord right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move Sala. What's these guys' range? I'm gonna put Sala over here. And we're gonna make a wall. Garrick can go over here with a iron sword. Boneless Erica is just what you get when you just... Wait, let me... do I have Vulner here? Boneless Erica is just like the level 1 base set Erica. No Scorched Sand Ephraim root bonus. She just... she's just there. <laughs> Boneless Erica bones on the side. Alright, this guy has 29 HP. It... Can we do this? No, this seems incredibly irresponsible. Dazzler, just K-word this fool. That's what we're gonna do. We get a heal with Molder. And we're just gonna heal. And Dazzler, I'm pretty sure I could just hand axe. No, that's not that's not good enough. We need a Iron Axe. Battle axe that's 21%. Whoa! <laughs> like how you can only get Manicator Tagel on Morgan if you married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought that the the third gen, the third gen children concept of the the avatar marrying any of the child units was both interesting and also kind of really weird. <laughs> like, like Robin, why are you marrying the kids? Why are you marrying these young ones? Why are you marrying your best friend's daughter, dude? <laughs> Come on. And like, I know a lot of people do the uh, Lucina Robin because I think people. People, I think, do it because, like, story reasons, but also, it's just kind of, kind of strange. <laughs> like, I could see it, like, it's very angsty, and some people just live for angst and drama. Like, yeah, right? Like, she herself is a child, but that's her from a different timeline, so I guess that's the justification that people give. <laughs> okay. Ooh, weapon level up. I think that's S. Oh, A. How is she only at A lances? This is... This is playing with fire. 13. I am so mad. <laughs> you... Can hit these tiles. If I go over here, though... I don't think anything else can reach that. Yeah, this is a fuck around and find out kind of moment. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> you dummy with your killing edge. You think you're gonna kill with your killing edge? Alright, and Garrick gets a kill here. These guys should pretty much go down fast. These guys are literally boneless. 
And now that Seth has an Iron Lance, I think he shouldn't die to three Gargoyles, since I think he lost because he had Weapon Triangle Disadvantage. Because that, that stuff adds up. Oh god, Salah! Oh. Please don't tell me Salah's gonna... Oh no, this is not what I like to see. Salah, please dodge. This is not how I'm losing you. Oh, thank God. Yo, Kata. <laughs> Are you God? <laughs> I would not wanted to have. Re I would not have wanted to reset there, but I would have done so very, very, very begrudgingly. I like. I need a macro button just to like play a sound clip or just like a visual effect of just never punished. <laughs> Because that's literally what I am. Like, you know, you make the most foolhardy, dumb, brainless plays, and then the game's like, you know what? You deserve to live. You deserve to get an award for your strategy. And I'm like, you know what? I do deserve to win. I do deserve a good time. I do deserve to make choices that should bite me in the ass, but do not. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get free crits. We're going to dodge when we need to dodge. I'm gonna walk up to the spider and hit him with an iron axe. No, that's actually a bad idea. Harder, get this guy. No, that's not great either. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna let this guy kind of chase us down. I think that's probably the play. <laughs> Tethys can go dance Dazzle so he can get more frontline. That one extra spot. And he, he also ended up dodging two 80% chances and then proceeded to get hit. Oh my god, that feels so bad. Like, you feel like a god when you see the uh, the enemy face happen, and you just, you know, you just kind of just ignore 83%, you know, it just doesn't matter, you know? You're, you're a Chad, you don't need to worry about getting hit, and then suddenly you do need to worry about getting hit. 3%? 3% to actually, like, 500%. Maybe you shouldn't have... <laughs> oh! Oh, she hit the critical. Oh, that's a lot better. That's super satisfying. That's like the, I'm the best strategist in the world kind of feeling. Wait. Uh... Salah, you got this, right? Yeah, you got 30 HP. You got 70, 71 accuracy. Get this guy out of here. Arda's not getting any experience. Salah's eating all his lunch money today. Alright, Tana. Boink! There we go. Is she level 10 already? Oh, she's been level 10. Oh, wait, what? I don't need to kill extra- oh wait, this is a route map, so I do need to kill extra stuff. Ugh, why is it a route map? Route maps suck! Alright, Spider, how much damage do you do to me? Eight damage. Uh, this is... Not great. Do you have a hand axe? You have a steel axe? This guy has a steel bow. Oh, and Steps, welcome, welcome. Thank you for following, I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your stay in the classroom. <laughs> yeah, this should be fine. Ooh, take a sip. Wait, that's a poison claw? <laughs> that's fine, I still have an elixir on me, so... We're not in, like, danger danger. And we're about to... God, that's, even though she has, I know she's not going to die to that poison, seeing, seeing the HP go down from 6 to 4 is so threatening. Holy moly, we're popping that elixir right now. Yeah, that's, that sounds like the right choice to do, the right choice to make. Wait, can Arter reach? Can we ferry him over? No, we cannot. Tethys is nowhere close. Sorry, buddy. You're kind of going to be in an EXP drought for a while. Forever level 8. I'm pretty sure there's someone that I can get. Someone that I can kill him off kill off with him. We'll move Sala forward. Staff bot, staff bot, staff bot. Let's go forward here. Um, this guy's just Rotten Claw. And these are some Dukes. These guys have 13, 12, 12. And then you have... 13 defense, 11 defense. We're just gonna use Garrick here. Garrick's kind of huge, buff. If like how people use healing staff that's in range, you only lost your HP because you're in the mindset of the people. Like how people use healing Because mindset of people who reload after one shot, just if I don't do this, someone's going to do enough damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, every HP counts, dude. Like, 
Because you never know, like, you could just miscalculate or just not pay attention. I've definitely made the mistake in my Iron Man runs. Oh, hey, what's up, Shady? Good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. I've definitely made, like, several mistakes in my Iron Man runs where, like, I'll have, like, horror be, like, super far up. Like, he's gonna be, like, all the way in, like, goddamn, like, Canada or something. Just fighting enemies, defending the North, you know, protecting the Russian skies. And then I'll be like, yeah, I can do this. He he doesn't need to be at full HP. He's tanky as hell. He's not gonna take damage. And then he gets, like, crit or something. Or, like, the enemy has, like, effective weaponry. And I'm just like, maybe I should have healed him. Maybe... Maybe I shouldn't have been as careless. <laughs> it's so weird though, because this is the first playthrough that I've done that isn't like an Iron Man run. It's so, like, I have the luxury of resetting now. So even if it does happen, even if I do experience the bad feelings... Ooh, and Clay Guy, welcome. Good to see you as well. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. We're just going through this 0% growth run of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones right now, and it's going pretty well, you know? I only had to reset once and it was at the beginning of a chapter. And you know, honestly, there's nothing more soul crushing than needing to restart when you're like halfway to the near the end of a chapter. But here, this is fine. I'm just gonna crit this guy. Actually, you know what? I didn't turn on animations, and I can appreciate some animations for a little bit. Give this give it a little bit of hoocha. I love how the spiders like skitter too. <laughs> Like, the monster animations are top-notch, like... I think... I never really thought about it, but I think I can better appreciate, like... The fact that there aren't many new classes in Sacred Stones. Because they have to animate so many new monsters! Like, there's like, I think five or six new classes? You found- you looked up my Japanese and saw my... VI from four days ago. Uh oh My vid from four days- oh, okay. You looked up Japanese lessons to find me. That's interesting. Yeah, I do Japanese lessons every uh, every Thursday. So uh, on in two days from now, I'm gonna do another one. And I restarted my Japanese lessons from the beginning. So if you're interested in learning, now's a perfect time because we're still like on the really basic stuff. So if you're interested in seeing some of those Japanese lessons, I'll be doing them again pretty soon. You just want to say some other things that are generic, genetic and Fire Emblem. Like whoever's the child of Obro. Do they actually? I didn't notice that. They get the, like the, like the, they like look down in disgust. I also, I always did love that feature of Oberos, like just, like the murderous intent because she hates Norians that much. There's a lot of like, race war stuff in, in Fates. I mean, I guess that's like just the point of the story. Europe versus Asia. Just reenacting like, when they, uh, when they told them to open the country and stop having it be closed. <laughs> Alright, so these guys here will come at Garrick. Garrick needs to not have an iron bow, because otherwise he won't be able to fight back. And this should be fine. Alright, so we go over here, we go over here. There's no flying enemies, so like, we're pretty safe. Oh no, look. I really appreciate the spider animation. Like, the way all of their legs are animated at the same time, it's so crisp. With any strength. Was Garrick just the only person with any strength to be a decent zero growth bow? I mean, I didn't make him ranger for having a bow. I just, I kind of just made him ranger because I wanted the extra movement. And unless I read the charts wrong, I'm pretty sure ranger had better, gave more strength, but I could have been reading the chart like super, super, super wrong. Because like I was watching other people like do 0% growth and they had Garrick be a hero. So that might have been the better choice, but also, horses go brrrr. <laughs> but like, I, I feel like Garrick's like, I feel like Garrick could just go either way, because his bases are just so ridiculous. <laughs> like, he comes in only level 10 with the bases that he has, and a freak hero's crest, like... It, it feels like I was playing Dark Deity, where like, they gave me the character and immediately gave me the, uh, promotion screen. That's what it felt like. Alright, I don't think I can one round- ah, oh, Steel Blade's not strong enough. Me at 1 a.m. outside the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Oh, grocery store especially. You can get away with like going to like a 7-Eleven at like 1 a.m. But when you need to like get your fix at like the local shop, right? Because you need to get something like things that 7-Eleven doesn't sell, like depending on where you live, alcohol or something. Yeah, it feels bad. Ooh, 6% crit. <laughs> and I'll call him Molder the Boulder for nothing. I should have hacked in the, uh, I should have hacked in some of the meme sprite animation they made for him. Like, with the stash beam. 
Alright. I like blinked and this chapter's like already almost over. Exact- you know, Molder the Boulder. Who doesn't know Molder the Boulder? <coughs> Sorry. You choose between a mount- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the thing, is that like, hand axes in this game are so stupidly good. That like, it feels bad to give up hand axes, but also... Or C. Yeah, I guess I should have expected that. <laughs> um, I don't want to move Tana that far forward. That might be sending her to die. I think we can just use uh, Garrick and Seth. Yeah, I'll probably look her up, look that up after the stream. But um, I do love that little detail. I feel like there's other characters that had like certain like visual things that they did a lot, but I can't remember them. It might have been like an awakening thing. I could be misremembering, but I love that, like, they included that. <laughs> Just, it's like, it does feel like, um, what is it? More that they are their parent's child. Alright, so then, oh hell, wait. Oh, uh, this guy's gonna move. Steel Axe. He only has 8 speed, so he's not gonna double or anything, but Steel Axe, 21 damage, 30, 35. Oh, they're all fine, they're all fine. Yeah, we're not in any danger here. We can do this item. We'll cook the Iron Axe for now. And... We'll dance Sa uh, Innes, so he can go a little bit further forward. At least this isn't a Seize chapter, because... Because, what is it? Um, Eric is so far behind, it would take so much longer. And by so much longer, I mean maybe one turn of fly, fly dropping. But still. I'm glad this is just a route chapter. Because the C support is the first sim The Siegburton Caldore support? I actually haven't seen many of the Fate supports. And it's like so weird because... I think like... I was like so invested with like Fire Emblem 7 when I grew up that... I like pretty much know like how every single support goes in that game. But then like every other Fire Emblem game afterwards I was like so... So blind on what happens in the supports aside from the ones that I saw in the game. Which is bad for Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem, because you don't see many supports. <laughs> you see, like, maybe three if you're diligent with it. Or, like, accidentally diligent, I should say. Like, you'll get, like, Erica Seth and, like, Erica Ephraim and maybe, like, Forde and, uh, Kyle. But yeah, I don't... Oh. Oh, wait, that's fine. <laughs> what, eight damage? Grow up. Because, like, there's so many, like, interesting inter... Excuse me. I did not give you permission to appear in my chapter. Seeing all these gargoyles appear actually gives me flashbacks to when I was playing, uh, what is it, Sacred Echoes. And the chapter that I was on was so bugged that, uh, enemy reinforcements were spawning endlessly on a sea on a route map. So it was like every turn I would, like, kill two enemies and then, like, two more would spawn. So I was, like, stuck in an endless loop. And it would, like, literally have been impossible to beat unless, like, I positioned someone that could one-round enemies at the spawn points, and just, I wasn't ready to think about that kind of stuff. <laughs> My brain was not ready to deal with that. Especially because it was an Iron Man. You try to play three houses and you're confused uh, as to what to teach people? I mean, unless you're playing on maddening mode in three houses, you really do have the freedom to just do whatever you want. The game isn't so challenging that... It's, like, imperative that you teach, like, what is correct. And the game tries to guide you into what is, like, sort of the canon... What is the canon? Uh, traits that they should be learning. But even still, even if you're just doing, like, what you want... I've seen people make, like, some of the weirdest builds work. <laughs> and those reinforcements, that just sounds like normal's echoes enemy summons. <laughs> you're right, it sounds like normal's echoes enemy summons. But this was a... This was a dungeon without cantors in it. It was just stairs. <laughs> Stairs were actually more of a scary reinforcement spawn than Tantors ever could wish they could be. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Actually, let's see. We'll just have Seth deal with that, you know. I want Garrick here. Iron Bow. Yeah, this is fine. I also find it interesting that, like, the cultural differences between Fire Emblem 7 and 8 in terms of, like, where the characters come from, like, in this game, 
we have rangers because, you know, they're just promoted mercenaries. Well, they're effectively the same class as a nomadic trooper, which is just... They use... They're on horses, they use swords, they use arrows. But I find it interesting that instead of just bringing back nomads, because nomads don't make sense in Fire Emblem 8 really, like the traveling, like, villagers kind... Like the traveling hunter kind of deal. Like, it doesn't make sense. Nomads were, like, a Sakaian tribe. It made sense in Fire Emblem 6 and 7, but here they don't have, like, any sort of culture that does that kind of stuff. So I thought it was interesting that they just created the ranger class to instead compensate for the fact that nomads wouldn't make sense in Fire Emblem 8. Like, in the world, I should say. I guess, like, you could they could be from Jahana, but, like, they don't have any characters that... I, I guess Garrick still does come from Jahana. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't have that same sort of, like, visual style that, like, the Sakaeans did. You wanna keep none of me? <laughs> I'm absolutely certain that if you tried hard enough, Clay, that you could most certainly make a, um, what is it? A all brawler playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses work. Can you be Fire Emblem Three Houses without weapons? I forget, it, for brawlers, does barehanded count as, like, if you don't give them any weapons, do they just attack with their bare hands? Because basically, you just do that, or you just give them the uh, the training gloves, <laughs> and just have them just go ham. Just have them go to town. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's possible. Alright, buddy. That three damage is certainly going to scare me. Alright. <laughs> I'm more scared of these gargoyles here. I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to look at them. Oh, wait, I don't like that. Garrick's gonna dodge that one, though. Stupid. And then... <laughs> Five accuracy. Grow up, dude. Aim better. First time looking? No, you're very impressive. Ah, I see. Careful, the spider's coming. <laughs> the spider's with their, with their massive one move per turn. Yeah, these gargoyles are gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, I'm pretty sure I double you. Yeah. And you have a steel bow, so I can also just slap the hell out of you now. We will need a heal. And we also need to be aware of... Okay, the range isn't super big. So what we'll do... Innis, longbow... Yeah, we're gonna longbow because I want Garrick to be able to walk backwards. And that's fine. The contingent. <laughs> The Scourge. They come. Alright. So we can do this. I think, actually, I can have Dawsla go ape shit. I think that might be it. I think it's just, you know, aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? That's just this. Ten. Ugh. What are these disgusting numbers, though? Axe Reaver. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna vomit at these. Look at that! Mulder can't even do anything. Oh, wow. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, Mulder... Okay, these guys can all reach there. We might... Let's see. If I put Sala over here, I think what I'm gonna be able to do... I dance Sala. What's my favorite house? Oh, my favorite house is absolutely Golden Deer. Yeah. You, you make me play Fire Emblem Three Houses, and, like, uh, like, with the full knowledge of, like, what I've experienced, I would almost always pick, like, Golden Deer. Definitely my favorite house. Alright, so we're gonna do this. This is just so free! Why is Salas so strong? He doubles the boss! Oh my god. <laughs> like, I struggled so much with chapters 9 and 10, <laughs> and this... I accidentally messed up against the, uh, the reinforcements once, but this is pretty much a first try. And then, one, two, three. Wait, let me just make sure. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up right here, right now. We're gonna put Mulder over here. One, two, three. Rescue Sala, because I don't trust that he's gonna get lucky again. <laughs> he got way too lucky earlier. You're a Blue Lions person, personally. Your favorite ship... Mary and Dimitri is, also, is a very solid ship, I will agree. I do think they have very nice chemistry. What is this? Road gate. Um, Blue Lions person too, yeah. I do like Blue Lions. I wouldn't say that they're my favorite. Um, 
honestly, I just love the golden gear so much that, like, the rest of it is just, like, what is it? Crimson Flower and Azure Moon, they're both, like, a tie for me. Like, I could take either one or leave either one. Like, I wouldn't be, like, it would be, I'd be hard-pressed to find which one I'd, like, be more fond of. Golden Deer's your favorite route. Dimitri's your favorite lord, but... Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I... Honestly, for all three, it's Claude, Golden Deer, and I, and I love all the students in Golden Deer. Alright, we're gonna buy some pure waters. These are gonna come in useful later. And we're gonna buy some Vulmeries. I have a Restore already, I believe. And this is... Uh... I'm gonna buy another Lightning Comb. This is fine. Yeah, it's just... It is great that Three Houses just has so many, like, characters and so many, like, different ways to experience the game that, like, I feel like it's always interesting to have a nice conversation about the, uh, the game with people. Because it's like, everyone just had such different experiences with it. We say like, the people in the Beauty and the Beast support chain, one of them having the Beast Crest. Beauty and the Beast support chain? Marianne and Raphael? <laughs> That's what I'd assume, at least. All right, Dalsla. I need to see some axe throwing here. You remember yelling at the glass kid? He doesn't do too much. Ignots, Ignots, my man, Ignots. Are you, are you dogging on my boy Ignots? Come on. I love Ignots. He's so cool. I also, I couldn't figure out what uh, what to do with him though. I think I ended up making him a mortal savant, but um, he really feels like he doesn't have a specific class to be in. Like I couldn't figure out like what was supposed to be canon for him. I think it was, like, Myrmidon? Anyway, Dozla is huge. So now we just gotta kill these guys, recruit Ewan, and be done with it. Is it? Alright, Ewan, there you go. You. Oh, no! 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 I am so mad. I pressed buttons way too fast. I'm sorry for screaming. Oh my god. Garrick, please dodge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. Oh wait, this is fire damage. Please dodge. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god. I menued way too fast. But everyone dodged everything like a champion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that was so bad! <laughs> that would have been like the worst time for that to happen. <laughs> We're at the end of the chapter, I'm cruising. <laughs> Look at that crit, though! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll be sure to clip myself just... just screaming in pain. <laughs> Look, oh, everyone's slamming crits now, though. <laughs> They're like, ooh, they're trying to come on us when our tactician falls asleep at the wheel? Nah, it's time. Everyone crit. I would have lost it if he got a 4% crit there. <laughs> oh, a very happy. There were two, two very iffy points this chapter. All right, you have 11 HP. Oh, God. I don't deserve to be here right now. <laughs> I absolutely do not deserve this current area that I'm standing in right now. I deserve to be in the bottom left corner of the map right now. I deserve to be all the way back there. I deserve to have all 58 of these minutes burned, and I have to redo it all again. <laughs> they call it throwing for content, I think is what it's called. <laughs> oh my god. Like, my heart stopped. <laughs> Like, you could pinpoint the exact moment where, like, my eyes, my pupils dilated, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, we're in the clear now, though. Um, let's see. This guy doesn't move, and that's obnoxious. Sala, actually, Molder. We're gonna take Molder over there. Molder the Boulder. Gonna go ham on this guy. Emon time! <laughs> We're gonna watch Ewan go absolutely ape on these guys. Kyle, holy shit, come on. 
you are a wonderful tactician. You place all your all your points on the instant to the luck stat. <laughs> I feel that. Ewan bases run, look at that! <laughs> they couldn't even give you like the courtesy of making him like a level four pupil. They had to drop you in on him level one. And what's up, Has Hasu? Good to see you here as well. <laughs> oh wow. He actually got hit. <laughs> Elliot in mad mode. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. That spider actually is kind of putting a lot of work for the enemy team, I'm gonna be honest. He almost killed Vanessa. And he's like almost gonna kill Kyle. Watch Kyle miss too. <laughs> like if I was a poorer tactician, I would have Kyle attack again. <laughs> you did say that they were coming. Ooh, they coming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to see something like... Meme? Five damage, okay. Meme? Is it meme time? Let's go! <laughs> That's the only kill he's getting this entire run. <laughs> 100 experience. Ah, oh, not 100 experience. <laughs> he's a pupil and he couldn't even get a full 100. SMH my fucking head. Alright. Sala. Can we? Yeah, we can just do this. And let's get let's get the hell out of here. You're about to pick up a Midori with swap and why would a Midori need swap? That's that's an interesting skill choice. The lock touch I I guess is pretty cool. So that she can do literally everything. But I remember all the people with Midori's just do like miracle Midori. Just going absolutely ham. Why does he have 2% crit? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like the fact that I can miss this one. We're going with Tana with this. <laughs> Tana doubles. <laughs> Ooh, that's big EXP. When do I get an Elysian Whip also? When do I get my second one? I've never seen the zombie crit animation, and I'm too scared to know what it looks like. Does I'm too scared for it for my first look at the zombie crit animation to be here. <laughs> if you get you went all the way to summer, you have a significantly worse null. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna insta promote null at a uh, scorched sand because like why why wouldn't you? Oh, I can't go back to shop. You stopped your previous joyful conversation and immediately got serious. Like it's it's so scary. We're at the end of the chapter. Mulder is gonna fight this guy close range, 93% hit chance. Did I try the? I actually have never played a Dragon Quest game. I've heard so many good things about like eight, nine, 10, 11. A lot of people have been picking up 11, but I've never actually played any of them. It's like one of those series that I've been meaning to pick up and just never have. Ooh, mission survive. All right, this, this chapter. I think I'm going to try to LTC this shit. Yeah, 11, like, I've heard, like, so many, like, content creators going through 11 and saying, like, there's so much good character in that game. Actually, fun fact about this chapter, there's a very good unit that you can recruit in this chapter, but I think he comes after turn 5. Every time that I have done Erica's route, I have never recruited that character, because I always forget that you have to, like, wait a certain amount of time before he spawns. Oh, hey, wait, Amelia's here. In a significantly harder position to recruit her. But she has the speed wings. <laughs> this is going to suck ass. Unless she moves. If she moves, it'll be easy. But this chapter sucks. I'm pretty sure when I did my Iron Man of this, like, many years ago, I, like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Cormag. I... I have never had Cormag in an Erica root run. Ever. Alright, 12 units. You, yeah, I need Cormag, because he... <laughs> in a 0% gross run, Cormag's stats are going to be significantly better than, uh... Than Tana. Remember, you can recruit easy if you just kill all her friends. Is that how that works? I, I thought you just had to talk to her with Erica. We don't have any other uh, grotto units here, though. Oh wait, energy ring, energy ring, energy ring. That's why we got E1. So like the question is, do we give the energy ring to a unit who's already like dummy thick strong? Or do I give it to Vanessa? 
I forget. Yeah, there's a lot of reinforcements here. It's a survive chapter. I think it's a it's a survive chapter that you can end early if you kill the boss. Is it worth it to give She's already been ringed once. So like do I ring her a second time? Or do I like put it on Dosla? Yeah, it's easy to talk when there's You're right. We'll recruit her after the war. <laughs> Oh, what am I gonna? Who am I gonna give this ring to? I'm, I I want to like give it to like Seth or Garrick or maybe Sala. <laughs> give it to Tethys. <laughs> Molder maybe might not be a bad choice either because warp strats. Warp strats might be like a real thing. I actually don't know where you get warp in this game. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know if you get warp in the main story. <laughs> I think it might be during Last Hope. But, like, a 6 match warp is gonna be, like, really sad. Ugh, do I- do I really just, like, bite the bullet and make Salah staff bot? Do I make him staff bot for, uh, what is it? S oh, we, we have barrier, we have barrier. I'm gonna- We're gonna do this. Halberd goes on... Gosla, that's gonna be really funny. Horse Slayer goes on Seth. Um, and I think that's really it. No, there's no other big items here. You're gonna go swap on the door because you've been abusing abilities like- Oh, shelter, shelter, that's why. Shelter, pair up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. When you're doing it with other, like, weird crafty stuff, then it makes a lot of sense. Okay, Sala, use energy ring. And we're just gonna spam this barrier staff. Try to get him to A. Why do you have a slim lens? <laughs> okay, that's what we're gonna do. Formation. God, I don't even know. I feel like this one's gonna take me a couple tries. Let's go. So it's an 11 turn survive map, and Cormac turn comes like turns like six, I think. But there's a lot of archers here. Can I kill this archer? Is a question. No. Time to overextend. Literally. <laughs> oh wait, we can do this. And this takes this guy out. Overextension is my middle name. You ever see me play a game like League of Legends? That is literally all I can do is overextend. I know no other word in my vocabulary. <sighs> Alright. We're also gonna turn animations back off. I think we've we've got a, a good look at the animations for one stream. Deeps. Do the big deeps. Gotta clear out you gotta have efficient enemy clearing. Alright. Off. Those look can literally just stand on these guys, I'm pretty sure. Hand axe. Yeah, those look gonna stand here. <laughs> Warp strike. What am I playing? Final Fantasy 15? <laughs> uh, you? Supply. Take. There's my lightning tome. Ugh, need more levels. Alright. So, I'm like still surprised that Tethys dodged everything that she dodged. Um, let's see. I wish Innis could, like, double any of these guys. Dude, this is, like, really like a siege war here. Um, can I just send Garrick to Rambo up here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spread ourselves way too thin. You tried to be a strategist in Crusader Kings 2 and built an empire, then all for <laughs> You had too many kids! The overpopulation strikes once again. Oh, no. Shinzo Abe would be proud. 12 times 2. 14. 15. Ugh. Oh, wait, cool. That works. Mold of the Boulder comes in clutch. Oh, wait, we can't kill everything here. I really wish I had, like, shove or something. Because <laughs> how much does Molder do here? Lightning does. 9 times 2. Does Molder die to this? No, he takes 12 damage and can get crit. What the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes I just do not understand. I had once again 700 children and lived to 100, outliving all his kids and passing his kingdom onto his grandchild. He had all those kids and only had one grandchild. Hmm. Very, a very powerful ruler. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see this. We're gonna Iron Lance this guy. Should be good enough. 
Um, yeah, these guys aren't going to go far. Vanessa's still, like, in threatening danger. This might be pretty bad. All right. Well, they died before they had children. Oh, I see. They died in the war. That makes more sense. Uh, let's see. Did you kill the others? Because I sent most of you. <laughs> you sent them all to China. Goodness. Oh, wait. You can do this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. All right. We're just going to go one tile back there. Maybe I should have done preps where I, like, rearranged where my units are all placed. <laughs> that might have been a good idea. All right. And then Erica can just stay in a forest tile. All right. As long as Vanessa dodges, we should be fine. Oh, wait, no, he went for Kyle anyway, so that's super fine. Yeah, I think... I think we should be good here. Eric, yeah, Erica's just gonna hide in the forest. <laughs> Erica can get mangled while she's in the forest. <laughs> Jesus, she took so much damage. What the hell? Oh, wait, we got a priest here? Okay, so there's reinforcements in the back, but they're kind of just there. Alright, Tethys, do this. Air to ground missile. <laughs> Anti ground attack. That's what that stuff feels like. Oh, wait! Oh, she's coming to us! That's good, that's good, that's good. Um. I'll do this. Iron sword. Am I really gonna elixir here? Yes. <laughs> Am I- is this gonna bite me in the ass later? Probably. Um, how does Arter do here? Okay, he can get a kill in. He may need to get- like, he's too powerful to be left alive. <laughs> Crusader Kings 2 playoff. <laughs> I remember when I Iron Man this game, um... I somehow lost Dozla here some- I don't- by some, like- weird freak twist. I don't know how I let that happen, I'm gonna be honest. Can I just do a air- Oh, get the fuck out of here! Incoming airstrike! Get down, get down, get down! <laughs> In four months of constant play, yeah. I haven't played CK2, but I have played uh, Civ. Those games take absolutely forever. Those games take forever and a half. <laughs> Alright, Garrick. Show them what you can do. How do I kill you? <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna let them come to us. Vanessa, you can hit these guys with the. Why don't you have a sword? <laughs> Trade iron sword. We'll do this. You can go on the fort. Vanessa, you need to get your sword rank up. So, yeah, this is fine, probably. <laughs> Civ, you get two nukes and then take over towns with a nuke. I'm, like, so passive in Civ. I, like, don't even try to, like, fight other people. The first time I ever played a game of... Ooh, don't like that. <laughs> the first time I ever played, like, a PvP game of Civ against a friend, I, like, didn't know what to expect. And then he just... He was playing the Huns. It was Civ Five. He was playing the Huns. I didn't know what the Huns' special unit was. Turns out that it's a battering ram that on early game towns just like destroys them in two hits. When cities usually take like 10 to 12 hits to take down. So I was like... That was like the fastest game of Civ I ever played. <laughs> but man, when the enemies don't spawn right next to you... Oh, it's fucking over, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. The soldier heals a little bit, but we bonk him on the head with an iron sword. Ooh, wait, we can kill them? And then Amelia gets close, so we can just talk with, um, what's her name? We can just talk with Erica next turn and get those speed wings. I'm, like, pretty sure it's Erica that we talk with. I would be surprised if, if like, I get thrown off. It's like that one, uh, I don't know if anyone here fo who, like, follows the Fire Emblem community has ever heard of a Biz Mix. That video, it, like, popped up on my recommendations the other day. It's like, when the ally recruitable unit isn't recruitable with the main lord. Like, that's gonna get me. That's gonna bite me in the ass one day. I'm gonna be playing like a Fire Emblem game and not remember recruitment requirements. <laughs> the Aztecs declared war on you, so you made the Terracotta army. 
That that doubles all of your units, but how does that help you against... Oh, you made it after they declared war, so you just doubled your entire military. I get that. Terracotta Army is such a crazy build. Have I given Sacred War? Is that the, um... Is that the rebalance patch? I haven't given it a try. I... The only rebalance that I've tried for, uh, what is it, for Fire Emblem games, like, of original games was Project Ember. I tried doing a Maniac Iron Man of Project Ember despite only having beaten Fire Emblem 6 once and it was on normal mode. <laughs> Cause I'm unhinged and come up with the dumbest ideas. Oh, this looks kinda bad. <laughs> yeah, come over here. Actually, this is a survive map, we'll just... Who can tank all those guys? How do we deal with this? Sala, you go up here. 69, 64. Okay, we got the hidden. But yeah, I, I've only tried Sacred Ec or Sac or Project Ember. And I enjoyed Project Ember. I think it was pretty cool. I know it's has like it's had like mixed reception, but I was a fan of it. I think it was it had some pretty cool things going on with it. Like giving like random units uh proof weapons. How do I hit you? <laughs> This guy is actually just a jerk. He is actually just unhittable? There's no way in hell Balzo's gonna have the accuracy. Wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wish I could shove him. I wish I could push him out of the way. Steel blade? There we go. God, that took so much effort. Um. Seth can go here. Seth, we can just... Oh, Seth has the Horse Slayer. That's what it was. That explains everything. Mulder, God damn it, dude. Okay, so if I have Innis do this... Oh, Innis does a lot of damage with the Ballista, actually. He might not be doubling things, but Jesus, that damage. There we go. Arter finally gets some EXP. Level 9. One more level till we get another bishop. Um, Yeah, that guy's going to slap me in the head. We're going to use Seth for this one. <laughs> um, Iron Sword. We'll Iron Sword this guy, then trade the Horse Slayer onto him. So I think some of the calves are going to reach him? No. No. This guy's just going to walk forward. This guy, I'm pretty sure, moves. And if he moves, that's going to be a pain. <laughs> so we'll just wait for now. Um, who do I want to move? All the characters I want on this top left corner are currently unable to get to the top left corner. Um, you have 27 HP. We're just gonna whittle you down a little bit. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so... Who can we move there? I feel like Kyle will get bodied, like, heavily. Am I promoting at level 10? I'm promoting at level 10 because it's 0% growth. Because, um, since this this is a hack of the game, so that every time my character levels up, they will get no stats increased. So because of that, the most optimal time to be leveling up will be, in fact, level 10. <laughs> um, I'll put Kyle over here with a Steel Lance, just to spread these guys on the left out a little bit. I really hope, like, we don't get scary reinforcements. We're gonna go back into the center, because otherwise... <laughs> if I get, like, jumped by a bunch of guys on the left side of the map, I will cry. <laughs> yeah, with no... Exactly. The ideal pro The earliest point would be the best time to... Oh, Jesus! That guy had a hand axe? <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay. Okay, it's just those guys in the top left corner, which isn't a big deal. Also, something that's, I think, interesting about 0% growths, I was, like, watching a video on, like, how speed is actually, like, a useless, a quote-unquote useless stat. <laughs> and, like, obviously speed is important because you need four more speed than the enemy in order to double them. But, um, it's interesting because when you play a mode like this, you realize that giving someone a speed wings isn't going to be really much of, like, a cure-all for anything. You, like, need to know, like, who needs to hit specific speed breakpoints, and give the speed wings, like, on that kind of criteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you started the game, if you're playing regularly, yeah, you could wait to level 7- to level 20 to promote. 
Because, like, with this game, there's, like, a world map system and everything, so... Did I hit you? God, I hate this game. So you want to make sure you get all your stats before promoting. Since the post-game, you'll want to be able to take on, like, a lot of the stronger enemies. Ooh, hiccup. Oh, this is going to be a pain and a half. 14. Here's what we're gonna do, because I don't want to aggro the boss. Oh, you're on chapter 6 right now. Not bad. I don't plan on going through, like, any of the story bits, so you won't get spoiled on any of that. You'll just see, like, what the maps look like, really. That's pretty much as much spoiler as you'll see. But yeah, I'm, like, challenging myself to try to beat this game without getting, like, any stat-ups. But I think it's just a cool challenge. So we'll rescue Salad to get him out of the range there. And then we take, drop, and then we dance. And Seth has how much HP? 30. He's still at full HP, so he's fine. Alright. Sala. Okay, let's be careful here. Work Spear. We don't wanna we don't wanna muck around with that too hard. We're going to heal. And then Sala should be able to snipe from the bush. He can't okay, I was about to say. Salad not being able to double some regular Joe Schmo fighter. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, we can do this though. Um, you don't care about spoilers. Oh, okay. You're here. To, you're here to watch the gameplay. That's good to hear. And well, thank you. And welcome, welcome to the uh, classroom. Thank you for following uh, Haku no Mega. <laughs> I hope you're also having a good night. You know you're running with a good crew when you have to ask your own character. Please don't critical on seventy percent. I feel that like. <laughs> You don't want your super-powered unit to just kill everything too easily for you. I get that. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Wait, is Kyle gonna die here? Okay, no, he's not gonna die. He's gonna get doubled, but that other Axeman's not gonna be able to reach him. Unless he has a Hand Axe. If he has a Hand Axe... Hmm. If he has a Hand Axe, I'll be pretty upset. Steel Lance... Oh, wait! So that should give us better weapon. Tr okay, Whew. like the the situations were just going like wild in my head. Ah! Wait, why is Seth getting doubled? Wait a second. These rangers are doing way too much. Oh, there's Cormag. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she thinks I did something bad. Also, I'm gonna like. Freeze frame. No, this dude has a hand axe. This guy had a regular. Seth getting doubled is so cursed. All right, give me a sec. I need to make sure, I'm sure someone else in the chat can also just tell me, but how to recruit Cormag, Erica. Because <laughs> I know in um in Ephraim's route, you have to recruit Dussel first, and then you get, and then you get, um, by Erica. Okay. Oh, you need Tana to recruit Cormag? That's so weird. Okay, just making sure. Because like I said, I've never recruited Cormag before. Yeah, we're going to keep Erica in this exact spot. Um, you? Here. 15. God, what the hell is this? What did this guy eat for breakfast? Kyle, do you have any healing items? Um, here's a plan. I don't have a plan, actually. Um, or Slayer does 27 damage. Seth, why do you keep on missing? <laughs> Holy shoot, this is so cursed! Like, I just one-shot one round Smolder. Which lords are the best of Erica and her brother? Um, in a regular playthrough, I would say, like, nine times out of ten, you'll, uh, Ephraim will always, like, almost always feel better to use than Erica will. I don't know why, it just is the case. Rescue, drop. Take, drop. Okay, and Vanessa's healed. So... You need to get Kyle out of there. <laughs> get out of here. Oh, that's why... Oh, wait, he could have died. I didn't realize that that guy had a Zombato 
but I'm pretty sure Kyle dodged that guy. But yeah, Ephraim is just like a lot easier of a unit to use because there's multiple reasons. I think the simplest one is that he just has better starting stats. Like Erica can get messed up because she has a low strength growth. And yeah, F Fire Mate is not super hard to play, so you could get like, even if you get unlucky, it's, you're usually just fine. Let me see, wait. Um, let's, let's, let me just make sure. Oh my god, I keep on almost menuing into the end, into the end button. <laughs> okay, this is Iron Axe. We're gonna equip a sword here. Item, Iron Sword. Tethys is in range of one guy. Um, wait, I can do this. I have no more ammo. <laughs> Attack. Silver bow? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I am getting very trolled by this game right now. Let's do this. Take. If Seth dies, I am going to be so upset. Because I don't know if this guy aggros or not. Well, he didn't aggro last turn, so I think we should be fine. Oh, I hate this guy. I hate this chapter. I hate when I can't just rush it to the end. You could you have Erica so long that she can Yeah. Yeah. If she gets if you get lucky, she'll get really strong. But um it's easy for you to get unlucky and her to be very weak. Um what's interesting is that if you do Ephraim's route, that he will automatic that Erica will automatically get leveled up to 15, I believe. Or she'll get six levels, I think at most. But cap up to 15. So if she was under level 9. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. I don't know if that boss moves. Oh, thank god. <laughs> so this is going to be a very dire player phase. But yeah. So Erica does get those bonuses. And I think they're just flat bonuses. So you don't have to worry about luck there. She'll just get stronger. Okay. We have four units to worry about on this left side. So this is fine, actually. The big thing that I'm worried about missing is this Knight's Crest. But he's not moving at us, so we should be fine. Because the Knight's Crest I could use on... Forde or Kyle. Or Forde or Franz, and I don't actually think that's going to matter at all too much now that I think about it. We're going to keep Garrick here just to keep a wall. Iron Bow. That kills, that kills the man. <laughs> Sal is kind of low. This is the first time I've ever gotten Cormac. <laughs> and Cormac starts... Oh, level 11? We gotta compare bases here. 14, 9, 10. It's Cormac. It's, it's gotta be Cormag. <laughs> There's no way I'm not promoting this guy. <laughs> but first... We're gonna mend Sala. Make sure he gets healed. And then Sala... Let's see. How does Cormac do against any of these units? It also makes me mad when you get characters like this that, like, come with a specific unit. And when you recruit him, you don't get the rest. It? Eh? Why did my Steam disconnect? Oh, it's Tuesday. That's why. <laughs> Very weird. But then I remembered. Sometimes Steam likes to just disconnect for maintenance. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, Sala. Can I just go into the forest and be safe? 34 accuracy. That's like not the safest. I fucking hate this game so much, guys, bros. I hate it here. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Okay, he's still fine though. We just need to kill these other two units. Can't believe that happened. Your Erica is level seven, your Franz is- Your Franz is 15 at chapter six? Did you do a lot of grinding or like creature camping? Or did you like grind on enemies or something? I'm like impressed that you got him that strong. And your Ross is a pirate now. Gilliam's a Gilliam's eleven, a level eleven Gilliam and a level fifteen Franz by chapter six. That is some powerful grinding. Um, 
So what we're gonna do here, does anyone here have an elixir? Um, you? Trade. Elixir, item, use. Oh, you use the arena, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. So this is called body blocking, so that a character that I want to live doesn't die. <laughs> We're... This is like a little, like, as the kids call, sussy wussy. Um... We have no way of killing this guy. Um... I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Um, have I seen the Sacred Stone speedrun? Uh, yeah, Kirby Masters, right? I... S Fire Emblem speedrunning is so fascinating to me. Like, the RN burning, the, um... Wait, I take 16 damage. <laughs> Please never say... I apologize, I apologize. I'm sorry for uh, cursing you with that. Sometimes what the kids say to you gets to you a little bit. Not to say that any of my students have ever said sussy wussy, but, uh... It could happen in the future. I have heard a student say Sussy Baka at one point, and that actually just caused pain to my to my brain. Okay, so wait. This guy has 20 attack. 20 attack, so that's 11 damage. 15 to 9, that's 6 damage. 11 plus 6 is... I literally live with 1 HP. <laughs> but it's better than this mercenary reaching Mulder, who I think just actually gets eviscerated. 5 defense to... and 20 damage. Okay, this is fine, actually. Yeah, this should be fine. And then... Call to have having a little fun. We just have a little fun. Okay, that's good. Um... Yeah. Now we just have to survive or end the map. Either or. And then we can put Cormag next turn, which is going to be really not... Excuse me? Wait, if Seth dies here, I will be so... Wait. Holy fucking shit. I thought she was going to get doubled. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I did well, didn't I? No. But you did give us a speed wings before you died. <laughs> F in the chat for, uh... F in the chat for Amelia. <laughs> Reset. Hell no, I'm resetting for that. How many extra credits to get Ellie? <laughs> it's just, I'll say it on command for however much the dramatic line reading is. <laughs> Turn the Game Boy off. <laughs> okay. This guy is just griefing me. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. We're going to go here. Is Amelia bad? So Hakun. Um, Amelia is another unit who is like Ross. You know how Ross promoted to a pirate, like, as like a really weak unit? Amelia is very similar, but she comes later in the game. Your first opportunity to get her is in Chapter 9, I believe. And, like I said, this playthrough is, um, a 0% growth playthrough. So, a lot of characters in 0% growth, their, their, their ability to be good or bad depends on what they start out as. And since Amelia's starts out very weak, <laughs> it's just, there's not much of a point in trying to train her up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do some stuff here. Boom. Yeah, Amelia was up too far because I didn't realize they were moving. <laughs> I've unearthed like one of the- <laughs> Look, I know the discussion is vitriolic as all hell. But you also have to consider that I don't think anyone would argue to use Amelia in a zero percent growth run. <laughs> it just is not. It's not happening. It's absolutely not happening. Oh my god, <laughs> zeros! Garrick doesn't have the con to wield axes. Don't you just love classic old school Fire Emblem debate? All right. So Vanessa, I think, should be able to weaken this guy. God! It depends on- yeah, it also depends on that. The meme is that Amelia is bad in general. <laughs> but no, Amelia is a fun unit to use in casual playthroughs because... I mean, training units are just fun because they have so many more levels to go through. So, honestly, like in your own playthrough, uh, Hakun, just use who you want. Use the characters that you think are fun, and you have 
you have the map, so you can just have fun, like, really just training up whoever you want, however you want. Alright, so then... Um, what are we gonna do here? Dolzla, Hand Axe, big damage. Yes! V Vanessa can turn into either a Falcon Knight, as I have here, or a Wyvern Knight. Not to be confused with a Wyvern Rider or Wyvern Lord. Alright. What is this? This is a plane, this is a plane, this is a plane. Uh, it's just... The annoying part about this area here is that... Oh, we do so much damage here. <laughs> Boom. And then Iron Sword. Or Slayer. We'll use a whole Slayer. Use Amelia because she's precious and not because... Yeah. That's actually the real reason. Amelia's a very cute, wholesome unit. I mean, she literally just joins because she wants to put an end to the war, and Eric is like... What if you put an end to the war fighting with us? What if... What if... Uh, Tethys is in range, but Ardor? That's a 1% chance. That's 1% way too high. But, uh, this is probably the safest bet we have right now. <laughs> this is Turbo Yabe. <laughs> Okay, okay. Seth is still at full HP. Wait, did I just kill Seth because he has a horse slayer? I'm so scared, actually. Wait, I might have to reset. We need a better choke point here. Uh, please hit Garrick. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Unless there's another ranged unit. <laughs> Why do I keep on getting myself into these situations? <laughs> you are not prepared for the route that if they... Oh, the rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not sleep. Okay, we missed. Stupid! <laughs> Give me that physics staff. Seth is so good at get... That's literally what it happens. Oh, wait. Staff. Heal. No, we need to... Trade. Heal for men. Because heal does 10 plus your magic and men does 20 plus your magic. Wait, would it have mattered? No, it wouldn't have mattered. I didn't need to do that. Wait, yes. Yes, it did. It mattered by one point. <laughs> it mattered by one point. I would have healed 28 out of my 29 missing HP. Um. So Cormag goes up here. Item, Illusion Whip. I forget which one gives the higher strength gain. If it's Wyvern Lord or Wyvern Knight. A lot of people say Wyvern Knight, but weapon triangle advantage. I don't care. I'm going Wyvern Lord because it looks cool. Yeah, it would have been one point too little. We would have had 29 HP. And the fact that Seth survived that turn with one HP means a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pierce is interesting, but it's also level percent activation, which will not mean very much. All right, so then... Which one of you Flatfoots has a lance? <laughs> Enjoy the no-speed bonus. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, 10. I see, I see. You're right. Um... I just want to kill this guy. I just want this guy dead. Wait, again, we have to wait a little bit more. Um, Tana, can you kill this guy? Five damage. Eight damage. Why is this guy so buff? Harder. We have the backup Cormag just in case. Alright. And this is down here. Ballista. How much... What's my hit rate on this guy? 57? There we go. You're gonna head out for a bit? Understandable. Thanks for sticking around so long at the very least. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good night, Sneps. How did I get more rapiers? I didn't get more rapiers, uh, Hakun. I, um... I have used Erica a total of, like... She's level 4 right now. <laughs> you do get one extra rapier in Chapter 9 of Erica's Root, though. There's a village in Erica's Root that gives you an extra rapier. FE6 Chapter 4 be like... 
Alright, Horse Slayer, 27 damage. 66% chance to hit. Thank God! Okay. Are there any other archers? No. There's no archers. Cormag's at 24 HP. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Who has... Okay, Dolza has a Vulnery on him as well. Trade Vulnery. Item. We put, use a Vulnery. Holy god! I can't believe I got out of that. <laughs> oh, man. If I first try this, I will go Berserk. If I accidentally use that speed wing on Erica, I will go Super Berserk. <laughs> we have three more turns to survive, or to just kill the boss. If the boss moves, I will also just cry uncontrollably. I think the cows are all gonna move now, though. <sighs> and then after the... Mm. That was a little scary. <laughs> I think that's the only cavern range of- I mean... He's like a- he's a GBA bow unit, right? I think... Is it like... How dumb would it be to go on without Innis? <laughs> like... Like... <laughs> I, I I don't feel too inclined to. And this is a good unit. And I think I think about it. There's Darkling Woods has an 18 unit deploy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Okay. So Cormac comes around turn 5, and I have until then to blow out these entire guys. This is absolutely a reset. <laughs> Being down a unit like Innis, when that happens... So what we're gonna do here, I don't have enough time to actually go through the rest of the chapter. This is gonna be a... this is gonna be a next stream thing. Oh, man, that's so sad. Oh, he doesn't attack. Ayas doesn't attack, yeah. So, I could take my time. I think after a... I think for this chapter, I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna do my battle preps. Amelia is saved. You're, yes, Cab. Yes, Cab. Amelia is allegedly saved. So, the tricky part about this chapter... Is... I guess what it is. There's, um... There's reinforcements that come here that they're not very threatening. They'll come really slowly. So I think what it is is we're going to use... Um, Kyle isn't the best at handling that. And Garrick is needed elsewhere. Uh, it's, it's just so many units are just needed for so many different things. And then this here. The roving band of child super soldiers grows. <laughs> I need Cormag's group here. They come turn 5, and then turn 6, they'll be around here for Erica to recruit. And at that point, there's gonna be so many of these guys, so I need a strong unit. And, let's see... Because we need to essentially be able to clear those guys in one round. So, it's not gonna be Vanessa. It can't be Vanessa, because she doesn't have high enough sword rank to use better swords. What chapter is this? This is chapter 13 of Erica's Root. Um, so first off, we're gonna split our army so that we can just very easily capture a Ballista. And then those lists to go down here, Arda can also help. And then this front area is like tricky. We're gonna put these guys up in front. I think Vanessa and Kyle, honestly, should be able to duo if I have the right items equipped. Let's do this. Supply, give. We don't need the Slim Lance at all. We need the sword. Iron sword be like. Iron blade's not strong enough. Or not usable. Supply, or not supply, armory. We're gonna buy an iron sword because that weapon triangle advantage. 
And then Kyle's sword rank is D. So he can use the iron blade and probably will get doubled with it. But that's better. Um, so that's good. I think that should be good enough. And then items, harder. We'll be able to use him turn one if we give him the lightning tome. Um trade. Sal is gonna get the Ment Staff, because that'll just come in handy. And then see the white gem we're gonna just sell. Because I've been putting off doing that, and I have 1,100 gold. Alright. Um see, I think this should be a better prep. I think the fact that I went in very sloppily really hurt me. Alright, and then formation. Yeah, these two will cover the rear. And then once we get Cormag, we should be able to more cleanly go through the middle here. We'll do that. And that'll be for next time. So, the next time I stream will be on Thursday. That'll be one of my Japanese lessons, if you're interested in that. We started from the very beginning again, so if you're interested in learning all the way from, from, from square one, you can catch that on Thursday. It'll be the same time that I streamed this at 6 o'clock p.m. But for now, let's go find someone to raid. Thanks everyone for stopping by. I had a fun time. I was surprised that I got through chapter 12 at least for one try, but I guess chapter 13 just wasn't meant to be. It was really careless to me though. I could have moved Innis, but I didn't. So again, that's my fault. Such is life, you know. Sometimes you just make some mistakes and you do get punished. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Let's see who's online to raid. Who's doing stuff that I think would be cool to check out right now? Let's see. See who's online. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed. Um, let's go pay a visit to. So this person is a ferret VTuber. He is currently playing through the entire FromSoft catalog, which I think is pretty neat because I know a lot of people know about FromSoft from like Dark Souls, Sekiro, Demon Souls, all those games. But he's going like all the way from the beginning, beginning, which it's really interesting to see what kind of games they made before they got like as big as they did. Let's take a visit to Ringleader Woozle's channel. Despite the name, he's actually a ferret. So let's read. Thank you for stopping by, everyone. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night, and I will see you all soon. Class is dismissed. Mm -hmm.